What's up, everybody? This is Terminator Juice, and uh, this is going to be an unboxing. I see in the title. I uh, picked up some Bingbok Joy-Cons, and it's the first time I'm trying something. Um, I didn't do any grips. Back in the, I think, the first year of the Switch, I bought some little gel grips that, like, slid over, and they didn't really do much. So this is, like, my a real attempt um, to make the Switch... A viable handheld system for me um, the main reason I don't play in handheld is just there's no ergonomics um, and yeah I modded my switch a few years ago I added the d-pad made it white uh, I really like the color scheme um, I like the color buttons but it's just I mean I'm trying to play Pokemon and lying in bed and it's like just totally uncomfortable trying to hold the switch with with like my pinky and you know i i can't even press up like on the analog stick very well because i got nothing no it just it lifts this it lifts the switch forward you know off my fingers so it's just it's just uncomfortable so anyway 2022 is a pretty packed year for gaming for across playstation and uh and nintendo and the switch for me and i found um or i thought that you know the best chance for me to get through some of the games like xenoblade chronicles definitive edition which i bought still working on pokemon legends um i think i'm at 43 hours and i'm playing elden ring on ps5 so i got kirby demo was was really good so i'm picking that up um more than likely day one and you know you got xenoblade chronicles 3 you got the pokemon violet um coming later in the year possibly breath of the wild 2 you got bayonetta 3 so i gotta find ways to sneak in more time playing my switch and uh sometimes i just i can't sit on the couch recline my, my legs get stiff and uncomfortable and you know sometimes i just want to lay down but i'm not tired enough to like go to sleep so so yeah this is this is going to be the hopefully gonna be the solution um so i haven't opened these yet this is literally they don't they're made in china they're not even sealed there's no tape um so this is gonna be my very initial impressions hopefully there's some kind of battery charge on them unfortunately for me they didn't have the black and white they only had black and gray but it's looking pretty good so since you got i don't have a good setup so here's the middle piece like I think as a T point out, it's a little too wide, most people say, for feeling like a normal controller. USB C um, and a manual. And then here we go. So I thought that was kind of a goldish tint. So a little lighter than I expected. Wow, that's <laughs> that's comfortable. Um Yeah. I wouldn't, I can already tell I wouldn't want to use these as like split Joy-Cons. It's still pretty comfortable that way though. Analog sticks feel nice. Like a little, I wish it's a little plasticky instead of like a rubber. But you know, it's $49.99 with built-in, has gyro, has batteries, um, even has the ZL and ZR buttons. And... ABXY feels good. Analog stick clicks feel good. The D pad's a little loose, but yeah, so let me. Uh, first impressions, though, I like. I mean, I think they're lighter than the Joy Con. Honestly, I think they're lighter than this. Than the. Eh. There's definitely. This is denser, um, but it, I'd be curious what the weight. Because it almost feels heavier than this, even though this is way bigger. So let me turn the switch screen on all right let's see what happens it, it clicks in look at that it that's awesome let's try the left get the click wow <laughs> this thing feels wide holy crap um i see why nintendo didn't do this for like the default I don't know how to change the colors. Um, I know there's buttons on the back. 
let's see. No, that's not doing. I don't know how to change the colors. I'm curious. Um, there's like a turbo button. There's like a button mapping for this. So first impressions, let me... I mean, it, it feels... <laughs> I mean, I could hold this. Like, I can actually hold this thing. I can hold it like this. Let me let me jump into Arceus. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I feel I can see why Nintendo didn't go this route for like the default because it is super wide, like ridiculously wide. Um, but the ergonomics to me. So let's see it. Let's see if the gyro. Um, how the gyro feels. Oh, the gyro feels fucking amazing. Holy shit. That works great. Uh, you can't see it, but that is smooth. Let me, uh... D-pad feels okay. I don't mind the, uh... ZL, ZR buttons feel good. Let me bump up the gyro sensitivity. Max. Yeah, the rumble feels pretty good too. Yeah, wow, okay. I wish you guys could see. Um, Yeah, it's hard to it's hard to do it right there but yeah this feels the gyro feels great um i just i need to read the manual real quick because i want to i mean i could edit but let me see how to uh adjust the rumble and stuff shit this is some small ass print Controller, calibrate controller joystick, color mode, press and hold, T button and, and joystick, then release to ch change color. Yeah, this text is way too small. My lights are way too dim. Um, that's a T button there. So that did something. Oh, that's the brightness of the RGB. Let's see, what does this do? I have to figure out how to change that, change the colors. I I figured out how to change the brightness, but yeah, this feels. I mean, God, <laughs> how long have I holding this? Couple minutes. It feels just like so nice. <laughs> wow. Like and I will say the uh when I booted up Kirby in handheld mode, I was very impressed with uh I forgot you can't jump in this game. I was impressed with the uh, the image in portable mode. I hadn't played in handheld mode much. So then I put in Breath of the Wild, and I was like, holy shit, like, this this looks, I think Breath of the Wild looked better than Kirby, even though Kirby looks great. But, yeah, I'm just running around here, uh, you know, maybe the right analog sticks may be a little low, but, you know, um, I wish it maybe was over a little bit to the left, but it couldn't because of the, that's the edge of the controller. I'd really want to change this color before I end this, uh. But, uh, let me, I'm going to have to take a photo of it, and then I'm going to look at the photo, because my camera, let's see, button count, press and hold the T button and joystick, then release to change color. Okay, let's try it on the right one. See, that changes the brightness.
That does nothing. One one thousand. Yeah, that just changes the brightness. So I guess I'm gonna have to figure that out. Um, yeah, I was hoping to get it because I just remembered I can't edit these uh, OBS recordings. So. Button count, press and hold the T button and joystick, then release. Press and hold the T button and joystick to change the brightness, and then release the joystick to fix the brightness. Control will vibrate when adjusting. Yeah, it's not a, it's not changing the color, so that's kind of a bummer. Yeah, it just definitely only changes the brightness. I'll figure it out. But yeah, uh, long story short, <laughs> this feels great. I mean, absolutely. I'm loving... Rumble feels great. The, the the amount of travel on the analog sticks is is great. Now, oh, where'd my uh, Rappy Dash go? He was there and he disappeared. There he is. He's behind the fence. Uh, how do I uh, clean up the... It's been a while since I played. How do I clean up the... There we go. Well, uh... Well, Rappy Dash Alpha. But yeah, I'm... I'm I mean... This feels absolutely incredible. <laughs> Let me go back. Maybe I should go back to the regular Joy-Cons. Let's see. Uh, do these have a release button? Yep. It's a little hard to uh, to release. And they uh, it turned off, so maybe the batteries. Well, that one turned on. That one stayed on. Let me turn this one off. Let's see if it... Let's see if it turns off like the, can you see the light? Yeah. Yep. Wow. I'm impressed. I am very impressed. So let me put the standard Joy-Cons back on. Yeah, I mean this, I mean my pinky's already sore right here just from holding the system. God, just hitting the right analog stick. Yeah total it's night and day so that's my recommendation i'll let you guys know um on the juices podcast uh what my you know thoughts are after more time but i'm impressed so yeah that's gonna do it for this video very raw very unscripted um hopefully you enjoyed it and uh i'll uh i'll give updated impressions if i run into any problems um let me uh let me do one other thing while well, everyone's, or while we're still here, so let me set it tabletop mode. Sorry, you guys can't see what I'm doing, but this might not have a battery. This charge might not. Yeah, this. I think the the battery's dead in this one. That's unfortunate. I was gonna test it as a uh, as a controller. Um, shit, this feels fine. I mean, this this is a doable controller. I'm interested in to use these back buttons. And, uh, yeah, they also can charge individually. Or they can charge while they're on the dock. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing more Portable Mode. So, uh, with that, uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.